Hey guys, I just uh, finally cracked this lock and uh, figured out how to enter the combination and I wanted to show you guys about this. Hopefully this might help some people who have them or spark some interest in finding these because this is just such a cool lock. Um, it's it's called a W.A. Harrison Inc. New York. Uh, they're in New York. It's an insurance lock and the patent was applied for as you can see here but I don't know that they got it because I tried to look up the patent for it to see what the heck it was like inside and I couldn't find anything on it. Um, and then it's got a little marking number G02432 or maybe that's eight. No, it's a three. Uh, but anyhow, that must have been like the customer number or something like that or or like the how to look up the combo or something like that. Um, at first glance, I thought it, like I saw it on eBay, it, was, it came in a lot of a bunch of locks. And I thought it was like a little junky like luggage lock, but it's actually really heavy really heavy duty, um, you know, brass. It's got these spinners, and inside there, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good shot of that, but there's spring-loaded ball bearings that fall into these gaps. So that's what makes it, that's what gives it the click. So, I mean, it is really well built. And then um, when I first got it, I thought, well, what I can do is just stick a knife down the sides of the, the uh, uh, tumblers there and see if they won't... Uh, if I can't find a gate, and I tried that, I had a ten thousandths knife that I was sticking down there. I could not f feel it; wouldn't catch at all. There's no gate or anything like that, so that was that was um, that was out of the question. And then um, I thought, well, you probably dial in the combination, push this, and this unlocks it. So I held pressure on that, and I spun the spun the wheels. And I uh, couldn't get anything to catch there, except for they, they always caught in one spot. Like this one would catch here, this one would catch here, this one would catch here, or somewhere. There, that one would catch, and then that one's caught. I thought, oh, that's the combination. It should open, but it never would. So um, I finally, I don't know why, but uh, I decided to, uh, well, actually, this is how I noticed it. When you push on this button here, the, the, uh, it like if you pull up and you push down on it, it actually seems to engage the shackle more than release it, you know, or something like that. So it kind of gave me the idea that maybe you don't push it in, maybe you pull it out. And I thought, and you know, looking at this hole here, it looks like it's only it's only able to go in. You know, it looks like the whatever's behind that hole is uh, is larger, so it'd be only able to go in. But I guess that's just I don't know if that's a uh, you know something to trick people or what but anyhow you actually pull out on it and so I pulled out on it and I spun the dials until I got the combination in or until the until this uh, caught in all the gates and actually I, I would spin the dial and while pulling on it and you'd kind of feel it catching a gate and then all the all the tumblers were turned at the same time and that's how I knew I was in the gate because it was or any of the other ones that are in the gate would turn and then like you go to the next one and if it wasn't bound up because of the pressure released on this one you go to the next one it's kind of like picking a lock so you pull out or you, you know you just apply pressure tension to the to the bolt and then spin the wheels and the bolt should line up in the gates and like I said if you can spin the wheel all the way around move on to the next one because uh, you know you gotta find the quote binder but anyhow uh, got the combination and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and enter it and then I'm. Um, this is this is why this lock is so cool. Um, this is why this lock is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna enter the combination. The combination is two, three, nine, one and a half. And so I'm gonna enter. And that opens it. See how that pulls out? It kind of looks tapered. So anyway, that opens a lock. And now you're probably, unless you're paying really close attention to that, you're saying, okay, there's no, there's no numbers on this. So how did you know where two, two, three, nine, and one and a half was? And how the heck, you know, do you figure something like that out? Because you lock it back up, and there, I literally was thinking about stamping numbers on it. So I could remember where the heck, because once I got it open, I was like, okay, now how the heck do I, you know, create a system to do this? 
And then I just put it down. And the only way for me to open it after that was to pull on, you know, to basically crack it again. So it's not really high security, but the, 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 the process behind how it opens is just amazing to me. I like, this is one of my favorite locks, like combination locks anyway I've ever seen. Cause it's so tricky. It's like, it reminds me of something like a secret agent would use or something like that. But, um, so like, even if, you know, even if someone picked his pocket and, he, and they got the combination, they come to this lock and they're like, okay, I'm going to enter the combination. They're like, whoa, there's no numbers. How the heck do you enter that combination? So I set it down and I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought. And then I thought, wait a minute. When you turn when you turn this one up, there's a stopping point. When you turn this one up, there's a stopping point. When you turn this one up, and I don't know if this is a security feature or a manufacturer's defect or or what, or if they actually put thought in this. But when you turn this up, it keeps spinning. It doesn't stop. It's not a stopping point. But when you turn it down, there's a stopping point. Same with this one. If you turn it up, there's no stopping point. It just spins and spins and spins. But if you turn it down, there's your stopping point. So the stopping point on this one is in the upwards direction. The stopping point on this one is in the downwards direction. So from there... I, I cracked it again, and I had the the wheels all lined up, and the gates all lined up, and it went open. And so then I put it back together, and then since this one locks up in the upwards position, meaning that would be zero, you will go up, or excuse me, down, one, two, and that's how many I counted back to zero. And then this one is down, one, two, three. And, you know, like I said, those ball bearings in that spring are there for a good reason because you got to be pretty precise putting this in, and they, they got to click right into where they go. And then, since these go the other way, even if you had the combination and you thought, oh, I just roll down, I you know, I clear them all out, roll down. No, you have to go up with these, so it's like a right, left, right type of thing. So now this one is up nine times. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. And I know you can't see that, but I'm just moving that little little recess on the next you know spot in the ball bearing, and that's lining up the gates that open this. And then this one was weird. It was one click and a half. So you can see they've got the little nub here, nub here, nub here, and then this one is in a in a valley. You know, there's the peaks and valleys on there. And then you pull it, and it opens. Um, but like I said, this is a really neat old brass lock. It seems really heavy duty, and uh, you know the low securityness of it is is you know definitely was its downfall. But but if you didn't know what you're doing, you know if you didn't know about tensioning that and, and spinning the wheels and all that stuff, you would have no idea how to open this. Even if even like I said, even if you had this combination written down, folded up in your pocket, and you wrote. Harrison Insurance or W.A. Harrison Insurance Lock number G O two four three two, and you wrote the combination down. Even with the ups and downs, it would still take a person quite a while to figure out uh, to clear that out. So uh, I just thought it was a really neat lock. I wanted to share it, and I wanted to uh, hopefully save you know some of these things because people probably see them and they think that maybe they're defective or maybe they were such a cheap lock they didn't even paint the numbers on properly <laughs> or anything like that because that's what i thought i thought oh god this thing's they didn't even you know they didn't even care to put the numbers on it to adhere but there i to as far as i know there would be no numbers on there it's just such a cool little lock and like i said it's so well built so heavy it's got a big old shackle this one um, there's usually a plug in that hole and this is so you can access the shackle, but that plug fell out. Uh, I'm actually gonna look for it in the box that I got this in cause I got a bunch of other locks with it. And like I said, I really didn't even give this a second thought until I started playing with it. And then I got, I literally like got goosebumps by thinking about how, how much thought went into this and how cool it is because it's literally a numberless combination lock you know <laughs> you, you, you basically you have to know everything all the way around it to get it so like i said to get into it um these go you just find the stopping point and this one must be up so you just roll these up until they stop and then these will go down until they stop and uh so now it's all zeroed out so now since this one's up you go down so you go one two and then you go one, you can hear the clicks, one, two, three. And then you hear this one click, you go 
and now this one's up since it's on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that one's set. And this one is up one. And then you don't hear a click the second time. You just go up halfway. So you got valley, 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 peak. And it opens. So like I said, it was it was so much fun. First of all, getting this open, and second of all, getting uh, getting the you know the combination figured out and all that stuff. So like I said, if you see these, I hope I hope people start digging these out and and, and getting them, you know. And I hope uh, hope I start to see more for sale because I'm actually gonna send this one off to one of my friends who's a sucker for New York locks. Um, so. Uh, he's going to get this because I don't really collect locks, but if I did, this would definitely be my collection. He's going to get a really cool lock. So I hope you're not to this point in the video, by the way, because I hope you didn't cheat. I hope you try to figure it out for yourself. But if you are, no big deal. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But uh, like I said, totally secret agent, totally cool. And I, I wanted to share that with you. And then hopefully if some of you guys got these in the bottom of your junk piles or, you know, somewhere, somewhere in your lock collection and you just, and you bought it and you thought it was cool and had no idea how to open it. Hopefully this helps. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, these are pretty obsolete, so I doubt you can use this information for a thing illegal. But um, please don't if you can. And uh, if you know where one of these are at or something like that, leave it alone. Never ever take a lock or mess with a lock that you don't have permission to or that isn't yours. So I um, hope you liked the video. And please let me know if you have any questions. If I skipped anything or said something you don't understand, please let me know. And uh, thank you for watching.